Good morning, everybody. And guess what? I don't have my earpiece on, but I'm going to get it on. I am so excited to be back today. Um, I've had a few days off. I had um, some things I wanted to take care of, some things to deal with, and dealing with, living life, enjoying the moment, and accomplishing things. And I'm accomplishing some things. I am. I'm kind of becoming that get her done girl. I see something that I want to finish and I just get on it and whoops and here we go. And I have, um, it, it tickles me to see the finished product. So I've been redoing some furniture. I've been looking at it and saying, what could it be? Every single day in our life, we look at that life and say, what can today be? Can I make the most of today or can I let today destroy me? We're gonna make the most of today. And today we are gonna make the most of some lives that I cherish, I love. Um, I have lost recently a dear, dear friend, Fred Wyndham, my executive producer, director, and editor extraordinaire went to be with the Lord, and I've had a really, really tough time about it. He, um, he took me to heights that I never thought I would ever accomplish because I would settle for so-and-so, and he'd say, no, and let's do this, and I said, okay. And he was creative. He was the force behind the magic of Heart of the Home. Heart of the Home aired for nine years in uh, Atlanta, in Greenville. We had so much fun. And every time I would say, well, Fred, what do you think about? He said, let's do it. Let's try it. Let's do it. He was just there for me. And when I got the word that he had passed, um, I fell apart. And I just kept thinking, he's going to be okay. This is not going to take him down. His kidneys were failing. His heart was failing. And um, he just wanted to live life. And he loved life. He loved every moment of it. He actually traveled the world doing all kinds of productions for missionaries and showed us a look at third world countries that we hear about and we think, but we don't really know what their life was really about. So it is amazing to me when we look at his legacy. I hold the key to his legacy because we have hundreds and hundreds of programs that he produced. He was amazing. He not only produced for me, he also edited and did work for several other people on WATC in Atlanta and WGGS in Greenville. He was the force behind the beginning of that station. They actually started the station in Woodstock at his home. And one day, a few years ago, um, in Pickens County, we were doing Heart of the Home, and I said, Fred, I'm going to bring these wonderful ladies to sing today. And, and I was just, da -da -da, just chit chatting about him and telling him, and he was so excited. And he said, okay, let me get an extra camera. Let me get this, let me get that. And so behind the camera he has on his headset and this wonderful, beautiful group of ladies steps up to sing. And he said, he took his headset off and said, what's the name of the group? And I said, I, I, I don't know. They don't have a name of the group. And I looked behind them and there was this beautiful wall of angels. And we were actually in the home of Charlene Higgins, um, Charlene Higgins Youngblood. And we, I just said, Angel Spirit, Angel Spirit, that will work, Angel Spirit. So he put his headset back on. These ladies began to sing. He took his headset off again and he said, wow, wow, they are awesome. Wow, they are amazing. He put his headset back on, we went back to work. He always loved Angel Spirit. He loved their music, he loved their message, and he produced and edited one of the specials that we're gonna share with y'all today. I have to tell you, um, we are coming to you today with a prayer plea like you have probably never heard. Angel Spirit lost their precious, precious Diane Green who sang and enjoyed music and enjoyed the fellowship but now their lead singer, Selena, is facing the battle of her life. And I am going to beg you, I'm gonna plead with you, I'm gonna ask you to please lift her in your prayers. She got a little bit of the diagnosis that Danny Hensley, our executive producer here at ETC got, and the doctors gave him very, very little chance of making it, and he's made it! So success today, success, a day of celebration. Thank you for your prayers, but we need to ask you to continue to pray for Danny because he has a couple more chemo treatments. As he ends his treatments and he begins to live his life normally again and without the chemo and without the bad feelings that it gives you, 
he and his beautiful wife Dawn have asked for specific prayers and I'm going to share those with y'all in writing on my Facebook page. I'm just going to post that and share it because they have very specific prayers that they would like to ask you to pray. Your prayers have brought him through this. Your prayers can bring Selena through this. We can do this together. That's what we do. We celebrate each other, we lift each other's spirits, and we are going to help her get through this. We don't know what her treatment is going to be yet. We don't know what path she's going down. But I've, I've thought about this all night long. Um, she helped me get through the toughest, toughest days of my life. There was a moment that a doctor gave my husband the, I, I guess it was the good news, bad news. He said, Mr. Martin, you have cancer. It is a traveling cancer, but I'm going to try to cut its trip short. And those were words that we needed to hear. We needed to hear that although there is a traveling cancer, there are chemos available. This is 20 years later, fast forward 20 years. There are more new medicines, there are more new techniques, there are more new treatments. So Selena has a great chance of a complete recovery. And we wanna ask you to please be a part of her prayer partner team. Also, I need your help financially. Um, these girls produced some amazing CDs. And Selena being the lead singer, um, she was kind of in control of selling their CDs, distributing, whatever. She doesn't have the time or the energy to do that right now, so I want to be part of that. And I want you to, $10, you get a CD from Angel Spirit. You know their music, you love their music, you're going to hear their music today. We're going to share a little bit of that with you. We're going to hopefully encourage everybody to let's sell out all the CDs they have left because they don't obviously don't perform anymore because Diane has gone to be with the Lord and Mildred has been very, very sick. And now with Selena, with this diagnosis, we want Angel Spirit to remain in our hearts, in our lives, on our CD players, on our DVD players. We want to be able to enjoy this music. The best way you can enjoy it is get in touch with me and for a $10, I'm gonna call it a donation, you get an Angel Spirit CD. It doesn't get any better than that. That is just the cost of producing this CD and it's gonna help Selena in her travels and um, we don't know if she's gonna go to MD Anderson. We're not sure if they're gonna treat her at Big Piedmont in Atlanta. We don't know, Northside Hospital may be her doctor of choice. We're not sure what avenue she's going down, but I can tell you, you're gonna make those footsteps with her because you're gonna be her prayer partner. You're gonna be my prayer partner as I continue to pray for her. We are going to pray her through this. We did it with Danny Hensley. We're gonna do it with Selena. When you get that diagnosis that you have pancreatic or you have liver or you have colon or you have whatever cancer you are battling, put yourself together the most powerful prayer team you can because prayers are answered. God loves to hear from us and he loves to answer our prayers. And it's, it's very obvious to me that our viewers pray for each other. I've seen it, I've heard from you, I've gotten cards from you. I've gotten text messages from you. You're a praying bunch of people and I love that about you. So today we're gonna start a big, huge prayer chain for Selena and for Rick because you know everybody in Pickens County remembers the day. We're coming up on the anniversary that Rick had a horrific car accident and almost took him out of this world. Selena nursed him back to health. She has helped him through physical therapy. She has been his caretaker. Now the tables are turned and Rick has to be her caretaker. So you know her, you love her, you have listened to her, and today you're gonna to get to hear a little bit more of her. But first, we're gonna take a commercial break and when we come back, we're gonna do Fred Wyndham as he came and visited with me and brought some footage years and years ago. And um, without him, Heart of the Home would never have progressed to the point it did. We would never have gone into the Atlanta market. We would never have gone into the Greenville market. We covered the Carolinas, and everywhere I would go to gospel singings where people would say, that's that lady on that cooking show. We watched that cooking show. We watched it. Fred made that possible for me. Fred made it possible for Angel Spirit to be over the airwaves worldwide. And that's what he did. He was the man behind the magic. And we're going to share a little bit of him, and then we're going to go to some great music by Angel Spirit. 
So hang out with me. I will tell you one thing about today. This is how my day started. I'm caffeinated, I've been evaluated, and I'm emancipated because I just talked to my broker and they have the numbers in and I'm very, very thankful to have had a really, really good year. And tomorrow we have a big celebration in Pickens County and we're gonna be celebrating the Circle of Excellence. And once again, I'm honored to be a member of the Circle of Excellence in the real estate world. It's really good to do well at something you love so much. I said, that's why I do television and that's why I do real estate. I'm lucky enough to have two jobs that I absolutely adore. And thank you for being a part of that. If I have listed your house, sold your house, if I have shown a house to you, if you have been a big part of my success, thank you so very, very much because um, without you, I couldn't do it. And referrals are the best way to keep me working. So if you have a home to sell, I would love to talk to you. I would love to come give you a cost comparison on what your house could bring in today's market. And I will tell you, it will bring more than you think. So. Here we go, let's take a commercial break and we're gonna come back and you're gonna get to see my dear, dear friend, Fred Wyndham. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories. Writing a great American novel. Or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella J, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meat, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. You will see his name about anywhere I've been because Mr. Fred Wyndham and I have been working together several years. Um, you told me you weren't looking for new people to work with. You didn't have time to fool with anybody else. I took you to lunch and the rest is history. That's right. That's right. <laughs> the rest is and history. We, we started the next week, I We believe. did. Yeah. We did. And your secretary said, Fred, you went up there to tell her you weren't taking on new clients. And you said, you haven't met her. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's so, absolutely right. Many years later, we are still together doing what we absolutely love. And one of the things we love is in the heart of the home, we always showcase some music. Right. Now, from your archives, you found some music that is incredible. Can you read me the email you got from Rusty Goodman's son-in-law? Oh, let's, let's see. This is interesting because many families sitting out there whose family may have been like Eva May Lefebvre, so many people who've gone on don't know that there's footage hidden away of their family members. I didn't, I didn't actually know it. I, I, matter of fact, I was, I was with Michael. Uh, we were doing a production down in uh, Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh -huh. And I told him, I said, I think I've got some 
footage of Rusty, he said, if you ever find it, he said, please send it to me. Mm -hmm. Well, I started going through, this was <clears throat> three years later, I, I found it. Mm -hmm. And so I sent it to him and uh, he sent me an email back. It was, you, you don't realize what things like that mean to people. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I looked at it and I went, oh, this is pretty, you know. Pretty I, good. <laughs> pretty good, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, it was 30 years old. Mm -hmm. But it was a year before Rusty died. Mm -hmm. And um, anyway, he wrote me back an email and he says, Fred, man, I apologize for taking so long in my response. Thank you for your kind and gracious act of sending these video pieces of Rusty to us. I just today first viewed these DVDs. It blew my mind. The song's mystery of it all and blessed assurance absolutely nailed me. These DVDs are priceless and I'll keep these until my dying day. I'll never be able to thank you enough but, um, but please know that your act of kindness is very much appreciated. This afternoon, I'm in, hope, in hopes of playing some of this for Billy, which is Rusty's wife, mm -hmm. as well as Tanya, his daughter, and Allison, his granddaughter. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see their faces as, as they view this footage. Thanks, and if I can ever be of service to you, please don't hesitate to contact Michael. Well, this footage, um, what do you think it was like for his wife to see this? I can years only old. imagine yeah. because... Like I said, this was not long before Rusty died. Mm -hmm. And um, he had cancer. And um, yeah, I, I almost tear up thinking about it because Rusty was such a dedicated good man mm -hmm. and, and such a talent. And um, uh, How old was he when he passed away? He was probably in his late 40s, I would think. Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah um, and like I said, such a time. He'd been with the Goodmans all his, of course, all his life. And uh, like I said, when I when I found the footage, uh, I was a little disappointed because it has some glitches in it from being 30 years old, stored away, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Right. Um, but um, uh, when I got this email back from Michael, it just like I'm so glad I pulled it out. I still got probably 200 tapes to go through. Of, of things that I just stored away, you know, like mm -hmm. we got through with them, I stored them, stuck them on a shelf, and and uh, of course I was busy all those years, so I just never really went back and, mm -hmm. and looked at them. Now speaking of all those years, you've been in television how many years? <clears throat> I started in 1976, so that's what, 34 years? Mm -hmm. Okay, in 34 years, talk about the changes. Oh, well, it's total. Because um, a lot of the footage we're going to see is black and white. No, no, no it's, it's, it's all okay. color. Okay. It's all color. Um, some of the first footage that I shot was black and white, but none of this is black She's and white. She's thinking back when she started. Back when I was a child, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. when the cameras were made out of wood, yes, right? Yes, that's, okay. right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um, now, you just came back from a trade show, and you said the difference of the cameras we will soon be working with are so totally... Oh, well, yeah, the HDTV. Actually, people don't realize HDTV is actually a bigger change than black and white to color was technically, because who said that? Angel Somebody Spirit. Like Angel Spirit called and said, "Tell you hello, and you look well, and good to see you on TV again." Hello, good. Angel Spirit. Hey, yay! <laughs> um, but uh, the the technology is just, and of course everything's computerized now. Used to, mm -hmm. we would tape it, and we would stick it in one machine and another machine, and you would turn the machines on together because there was no controller to control and try to hit the button at the right time to do the <laughs> editing and oh, wow. so it took forever to edit and now of course now we put it into the computers the the new cameras that I'm looking at now I actually record directly to chip so you so don't have to take the editing issue out well no you you still have to edit it okay. but you don't have to take it from tape put it in the computer or you know right. which takes runs in real time right so if you tape for an hour it takes an hour to put it in now you can just take the chip stick right. it in and edit directly. Uh, the, um, the video is of course 1,080 lines compared to 525 lines. But uh, you know, you'll know now, if you think about it, the old TVs wouldn't even work anymore. Mm -hmm. When we went from black and white to color, the black and white still would pick up the color programs. Mm -hmm. So that's how big the change was. Uh, and, uh, but I, I think it's for the better now you've got, what do you call that thing you t carry in your pocket? Because you brought me some programs you had edited oh. for me. 
and and he he we sat there at Five Guys eating us a hamburger watching. The, I mean, yeah, the, this is an we watch yeah, movies on this thing, yeah. and it just blows my mind. Now I can't even figure out how to turn it on. But is that where we're headed? Well, yes. Um, is that there's, what there's two to the ways that, There's two ways we're headed. To the small screen uh -huh. and to the huge screen. Mm -hmm. Nothing in between. Yeah, nothing in between. It's like you want the small screen to carry with you when you're home. You want the biggest uh -huh. thing you can find. You know. Talk uh, about the biggest thing you found. Because what's in your living room? Uh, right now, I'm using a 73 inch. Okay. Uh, what about the clarity? Because used to, if you had a big TV, the clarity was terrible. Well, it's it is if you're watching the old material uh -huh. but if you're watching the new stuff it's like looking through a window uh -huh. uh, you know the new HD stuff like I said you double the lines you're going from 525 lines of resolution to 1080 don't try explaining that to her she's, look, she's looking well, at like when huh? he came back from the trade show and he said you're ready to go <laughs> high def and I said ah, I don't know about this but you are determined that's where we're going well we, so, you, we've got to yeah of course now everything at the trade show this year was that the trade show was always about eight to ten years ahead of where things are. Mm -hmm. So everything at the trade show this year was 3D. Wow. Wow. 3D. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So the new cameras, Sony's actually uses two cameras with a prism. Panasonic's has a, like a double image thing. But I think it's going to take a while for 3D to catch on because mm -hmm. I, to be honest, I don't think most people are going to watch, watch TV at home wearing glasses. Yeah. Uh, We'll have to go through another generation to get there. Can you imagine them watching you in 3D? <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> Poking your head right no, through the screen. No, I'm having man. a hard time with this high def. People so. will be going like that. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. That is so funny. Was there anything there that was like the cutting edge? That was the thing that everybody no, the the 3D, was doing? Yeah, the 3D was the cutting, the cutting edge. Um, I don't know if you want to see Avatar mm -mm. or not. The last <clears> movie I saw in a theater was... Uh, Gone with the wind. No, no, no! I was in that movie. Oh. It is, uh, it is uh, um, Chris who ends up in the um, Pursuit of Happiness. Pursuit of Happiness with Will Smith. That's the last movie I walked into a theater well, and watched. Well, Avatar, uh, when they made it, they had to wear these suits that had all these little points on them that that the computer picked up to make the characters. Well, see, those were being shown at the show eight years ago. Wow. So, but see, it took them four years to make the movie. So it was like, it was new technology when they started, mm -hmm. and it's new technology to everybody today, but it's really eight-year-old technology that's just getting out there. So I think we're going to see the same thing with the HD. Uh, you'll have to have another generation uh, to move along, and they'll be raised in it and it's just like a kid with a computer where the older generation had a hard time moving at the computer oh, yeah. the five-year-olds were sitting there mm -hmm. you know just going Nothing for it. changes uh, it's always the same with kids they know it all don't they oh yeah yeah and it's like the iPods uh, now I use an iPod because that's part of my business of what I do right but you know kids with iPods that you know they don't think anything about it they just go on or they have their mm -hmm. smartphones mm -hmm. and uh, the new as a matter of fact I was looking at the new uh, uh, iTouch or not iTouch the iPhone mm -hmm. that's coming out it's tremendous it's got face-to-face -face talking Wow uh, I can be sitting there looking at it it'll look at me somebody that's got an iPhone on the other end can be looking at me mm -hmm. but if I want to show them what I'm looking at I can press a button and it's got a camera in the back mm -hmm. that'll show them Travis what I'm, I think what I'm Travis and at. his son have that because they did that one day to show us how that gave us an example of it and it blew my mind Lee was at the courthouse in, in Forsyth County and, and we're back and forth on that and I'm like you are kidding me now who wants a phone like that I sleep with the phone because of the trucking business who wants to roll over at 6 a.m. and somebody looking at you on the phone I'm, I'm sure you can probably turn the camera <laughs> that off would if be you want yeah. to <laughs> that would be a good say, thing say please not right now is there is there too much technology are we advancing faster than first planned are we right on track I think I think we're faster than planned in most people's minds mm -hmm. uh, technology doubles just every few months uh, it's amazing. If, if you'll notice whenever you use a computer or use uh, an iPod it goes it starts off at 8 gig 
and then it's 16 gig, and then it's 32 gig, then it's 64 gig, and it it constantly is a doubling. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's just kind of the way that te technology works. Processors, most of the time, it'll double speed. So, uh, and as you get faster processors, then of course things. Uh, I saw, saw something on a new computer the other day that did something like four trillion calculation per second. Uh, now this isn't something that's for the general public, mm -hmm. but uh, you think about that four trillion calculations. That's almost a national. Per second. A few short years ago, we, all you could get was 64 kilobytes. Yeah. Well, the first uh, internet computer I bought had the the modem on it was 300 bps. That's 300 bits per, per second. second. Okay. Now, when I go online, I have 20 MPS, million bits per second. Wow. So in 15 years, it went from 300 bits per second to 20 million bits per second. Mm -hmm. Good Lord. That is a drastic difference. And a lot difference. of that's video, because back in the older video. days, all you had was data. You it was just text. Yeah. And, and with text, it was fine, but everything now is graphics, right. and video. And it is amazing what we can share on the computer. Now, you're going to share some music today. Um, one of the things you've done through Heart of the Home, I'm just sitting here, and, and in my mind, I can name Broken Ground, ladies who had never been recorded singing before. You did them a cappella sitting in my living room. Right. On a stool, Family Harmony at its best. You did Angel Spirit the first time they had ever been on television. In Charlene's kitchen, actually. You right. brought in all the equipment, and these ladies were very, very nervous, but they nailed it first time. We never did retakes on any of it. You brought in Barry Scott. You know, we've had so many, so many really, really good talent that you have given the opportunity to be on television. In the early days, you were doing television with some of the pioneers of the industry. Now, who are we going to open with today? Uh, a lot of people, I, I picked this first because a lot of people knew Rex Nealon. Uh -huh. And of course, uh, a lot of people know Karen Peck. Right. Because Karen, I Because I love Karen Peck. Because you love, <laughs> group. You love right. Karen Peck. Yes. Well, Karen was <clears throat> just starting with the Rex Nealons when this was shot. Uh -huh. So the first song is going to be um, uh, The Touch, which uh, Karen Peck leads, and then it'll go right into He's My Best Friend with Rex. And um, Rex was one of the greatest bass singers mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. uh, and this was shot, uh, I think this was shot in 1982 or 83. So it's been about 30 years. Well, ladies, we are giving you a warning. Gents, we are giving you a warning. If you have DVR, right now is the time to hit that button. Today you will get an absolutely amazing look back into gospel music, the best of gospel music. Some of the I had to share my dear friend Fred Wyndham with you. I had to share how much I loved him, how much he was beyond amazing and um, it's so weird because Dawn had left me this book the other day it actually belonged to my cousin Joan who went to be with the Lord and and God I miss her so much and I had picked out this thing I was going to read for y'all because when I first met Fred Wyndham I said I don't know I don't know if I can do this and he said look at me and tell me you can't do this he said of course you can do this Many, many years later, I feel like, yes, we did a great job with it. And it was his prodding and poking and encouraging that got me to do this. And when I read this, I thought, how weird. Success comes to those who are success conscious. Failure comes to those who are failure conscious. I felt like I wasn't going to make it. And he said, of course you're going to do it. It's going to be wonderful. It was wonderful. Our ratings were on top of the game. Everything was wonderful. And we loved WATC. We loved WGGS. We loved every single moment of the television magic we made. Now, today is January the 19th. And this is my calendar. Y'all know I use this all the time. Dawn gave me this. Today, after I had already chosen to read about success, this is what January the 19th says. True success comes from setting goals, learning from mistakes, and strong faith, perseverance, and honest hard work. And I feel like if anybody has honestly hard worked, I have honestly hard worked. 
try to do the best that I can do, when I can do it, as I can do it, and I try to accomplish everything at one time, which sometimes gets me in trouble. But I got the sweetest message from Donna, one of our friends down in um, Atlanta last night, and she said, you blow my mind. How do you get all this done and how do you do this? She had a friend who was her real estate partner who went to be with the Lord a few years ago. And when she's around Evelyn and I, she said, y'all just remind me of us, how we used to work together and coordinate and do and do, do, do. And she said, and then one day she was gone. And that one day when she was gone, I didn't know how to travel on without her. And she said, it's taken a lot to continue our business and to continue doing what I was doing without her. Well, when Fred went to be with the Lord, I kept saying, you know, there's, his, his health wasn't good enough that we could have gone back to WATC, although we would have loved to. His health never got to a point that he could carry the equipment anymore. His health never got any better. But his attitude stayed so positive and his love of life stayed so positive. We are celebrating today some wonderful, wonderful people. Fred Wyndham, um, we're going to celebrate Diane Green because you're going to get to hear some of her music. And we're going to celebrate and lift Selena, Selena Hales. Selena is one of those people who, um, when she stepped on stage, she just glowed. She was giving back more than she was getting from the audience. She was giving, giving, giving. That's what she did. So today we're going to celebrate her. But I, I chose something that I hear a lot um, on YouTube. And this is something, it's a song that is up spirit, uplifting, and it just makes you smile. So I want you to listen to this because there are footsteps that we're going to follow in this life. And we will follow the footsteps that God plans for us. So I want you to listen to this. And then when we come back, we're going to get to hear Angel Spirit. You're going to get to share their music, their memories, their love, their laughter. You're going to get to enjoy the beautiful music of family harmony. That's what made them so amazing. And I will never forget the day that Fred was in Charlene's kitchen and those earpieces, his headpiece came off and he said, wow, wow, those ladies are amazing. Those ladies were amazing. The combination of those three voices it's just amazing, and I want to encourage each and every one of you, if you can spare $10, if you could buy a CD, um, I will see that we get it to you. I don't know how. Maybe I'll have them down in my office. We'll, we'll figure out a way to get it to you. But I want you to be able to share in their music. I want you to ride down the road, and as you're listening to Angel Spirit, I want you to be praying for Selena, and I want you to be praying that God's will will be done and that we will see a complete recovery and that she will be there to be, once again, Rick's caretaker. So here we go. This is Wendy Bagwell and the Sunlighters, and it is a very positive, very upbeat song, and I hope you're going to enjoy it.
I hope that your spirits have been lifted and I hope that now you are ready to lift Selena in prayer. We are going to share great music from Angel Spirit. This was a product that was produced by Fred Wyndham down in Jasper, Georgia. We did a friend raiser for our friend Hans Rufert, who was at that time battling cancer. We raised a lot of money, we raised a lot of awareness, and we raised a lot of prayer warriors. And today, many of those prayer warriors still watch our program, and I'm gonna ask you once again to please pray for Danny Hensley and for Dawn as she nurses him back to good health with two more chemo treatments. We're gonna say that's gonna wipe out this cancer and he's gonna be back at work at ETC before very long at all. And we're gonna pray up and we're gonna pray for the complete healing of Selena Hales. Um, we know that God can do this. We know that it is possible and we know that our prayers are needed to hear. So, this is the last thing I'm gonna to read today and then we're gonna to go to some music by Angel Spirit. Be someone who finds something good in each day, then give it to others. Even if you've gotten that diagnosis of cancer, even if you've gotten that diagnosis that the man, the person, the woman, the child that you loved has gone on to be with the Lord, even if you've lost that person, you know that there is something good about today. And so give that goodness to somebody else, share the goodness. And today as I was driving up here, I was talking to my broker, Jane, and we were just chit-chatting and, and talking. And we have both been so very, very blessed. We have also both faced tragedy and trauma and heartache. Um, her mom died unexpectedly, she lost her dad. Um, we just, we have all been through so much, but we've encouraged and lifted each other, and that's what we have the ability to do. So today, we're gonna go to some music by Angel Spirit, and I want you to sit down, I want you to reflect, and I want you to think about how much these, these women have brought joy and comfort to you through their music, and then I want you to lift them in prayer. Here we go. died for me on an old rugged cross of Calvary. There he suffered, bled, and died. On the cross was crucified, and my Jesus will welcome me home. I've come to
Y'all give Mama a big hand here. We're so proud she could be here with us tonight. It's been a touch and go situation, but I tell you what, y'all, as she goes off stage for a few minutes, I'm going to have a young lady come out that I was just talking about. Leah, come on out and join us. This is Leah Senior. She's from right here in Jasper, Georgia. She comes from a family with some incredible talent. Just to give you a little background on her, she has a great aunt that's in her 90s that plays piano and is an incredible musician from what I'm told. She has a sister who is a performer, entertainer, that has sang at Dollywood for a number of years, Kaylee, who just got married. And let me think. Who? Oh, Bill Higgins. I mean, you know, he's the co-host of that show. Uh, I guess his name's Bill Senior. He sings with that other group, uh, that wonderfully talented group, First Mountain City Quartet. And we're so honored to have a couple of you guys here tonight. So you guys just bundle, uh, bear with us through the nerves. And I hope you enjoy her voice as much as I do. She has worked so hard to bail us out in a time of need and has a voice that needs to be heard. So. This is her third singing with us. Ever. Practice. Practice. <laughs> So y'all enjoy. I know your life on earth was troubled, and only you could know the pain. You weren't afraid to face the devil. You're no stranger to the rain. So go rest high on that mountain. Son, your work on earth is done. Go to heaven and shout love for the fall. Oh, how we cried the day you left us. We gathered round your grave to grieve. I wish I could see the angels' faces when they hear your sweet voice sing. So go rest high. Son, your work on earth is done. Go to heaven and shout love for the Father and the Son. So go to heaven. Love for the Father and the Son. See what I mean, guys? She got it. She I don't got know to. if I like this or not. That makes me the oldest one up here now. <laughs> oh, well. This next song is going to feature her just a little bit, and we hope you enjoy it. It's a good old southern gospel hymnal out of our book, and it's called Holy Angels. Come. 
What do you think, guys? Give her up another big hand. That was awesome. Well, just a little bit about us. You, most of you probably know us all. Um, on my far left is my Aunt Diane Green. And next to me is my mother, Mildred Sewell. And I'm Selena Fields. And uh, quite honored tonight to have my twin girls here with us. So glad they're here. My brother, thank you for being here. Um, I guess our next song is going to be Right on Time. <laughs> everything, but he'll be right on time, right on time. Okay, today we salute survivors. We salute those who are fighting a battle of their lives. We salute those who have made it through the tragic loss of a child, a spouse, a mom, a dad. We salute each and every one of you, and we are going to celebrate you. So today, say a prayer for each other. Say a prayer that every single person out there facing the battles of their life, whether it be the loss or the, the continued fight against cancer. Let's let's beat and battle and, and win the war against cancer. Cancer. So don't forget, please, Danny Hensley, please lift him in prayer. Selena Hales, please lift her in prayer. So many people who are battling COVID. I was sitting here and I got another message from somebody else. My doctor actually had COVID. He told me when he, he cleared me for pre-op, he said, I just haven't felt well. And all his friends had COVID, now he had COVID. And I'm like, so many people have fought and, and won a battle against COVID. So many people have fought and sadly lost the battle against COVID, but went to be with the Lord. So we don't know what the path is gonna be, but I, I love that song about when you think about his footsteps are gonna lead us wherever we need to go. His footsteps, we're gonna be right there. We're gonna hear him, we're gonna feel him. We're gonna know the presence of the Lord. And that's gonna get us through these trying, trying times. Please remember, if you want a CD by Angel Spirit, if you'll get in touch with me somehow, some way, I will find it, I will get it to you. We will make this happen. Let's lift Selena, not only um, spiritually, let's help her to distribute these CDs and, and to sell them because they have no avenue, no outlet to do this now. We want to encourage you to be a part of her prayer team. Please say a prayer for her. 
I'll tell you what's going to get her through this. His amazing grace will lift her, will encourage her, and will carry her every single step of the way. And when this battle is over and we pray that she has won the battle against cancer, then we can all say, well done, well done. And, and we will make it through this with her. So please, again, put her to your prayer list. If you belong to a church from here to there to kingdom come, please add her to your prayer list. Please continue to add Danny Hensley to the prayer list. Please continue to lift those who are hurting. I was just looking at something and I saw a beautiful picture of two dear people that I absolutely love and to Mark Goggins. Happy, happy birthday to you and to your precious Renee. Y'all have a great, great day. We are so blessed with so many wonderful people in our lives and we can join together with those people and we can make a difference in somebody's life who is hurting. I can only imagine how Selena felt when she got the diagnosis because she was busy, she was productive, and all was well. She just didn't feel right and had had a lot of pain. She is battling a lot of pain right now. So please pray that her pain just lessens and that she can handle what's going on with her body as she fights this cancer. We're going to end today with a song that I think says it all. Um, we are here. We are surviving. We are making it through whatever we're facing because His amazing grace. His amazing grace will get us through any and everything. So sit back now and let's just remember that He is in charge of everything in our lives. I'll see you again soon only on ETC. Ella Falls. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear? The I first believed through many dangers, toils, and snares. I have already come. His grace that brought me. Thus